Hey, YouTube. Happy Monday morning to you. Well, we're going to start it off with a bang. All right, so here's my issue. Too much light. Here's my issue. Yesterday, I did this video about this guy, Travis Jennings. How I thought he was wrong the way he came at those women at his, uh, what his women's meetings and whatever. Meeting with single women, calling them up front, making fun of them, their body parts and all this kind of stuff. I just thought it was wrong. And that's what I do. It's commentary. A commentary. Go on the news. Look on the screen. Look at the uh, internet. Something looks interesting. I comment about it. That's what. That's kind of what this whole thing is. At least for me. Well, apparently I offended someone. And I want to share this offense with you. Okay, you ready? Hold on a second. This is from Michelle the Alien Brown. She says, oh, the hypocrisy. You have done the exact same things as this pastor. I can't believe you, capital letters, are, so she's saying, I can't believe you are sitting there saying no one should speak, up, speak under a woman's dress or speak on someone's weight, but you have done the exact same thing, same thing to me. Uh, you are you are no different in how you've chosen to use your platform. I guess since you don't consider yourself a Bible thumping with the converses, a Bible thumping Christian, it doesn't apply, huh? Ha ha ha. Okay. No, that's not ha ha ha. Those are tears, 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 emojis. Tears, tears, tears. <laughs> She's devastated, right? <laughs> Hold up. Okay, so Michelle Brown is not devastated by anything I said about that man talking about those women like that. They wouldn't even make any sense. She is, and I'm biting. Let's get something straight, people. I am not stupid. I know Miss Michelle Brown is throwing out her, her hook trying to catch someone to beef with. I realize that. It's Monday morning. She, uh, she's already talked about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now she's throwing out her hooks because her and I are, have not been on good terms for at least two years. And so she says, what did she say? I was, uh, I do the exact same thing as this man. How in the hell am I doing anything like this man? This man has called a woman up in front of the congregation to call her fat and sloppy and tell her what kind of, is, does he want her to lose the weight or keep the weight? She's telling her what kind of bras to strap the breast up. And many people were commenting. This is this is something that's on the on the airwaves, right? I shared my opinion about it. I thought it was wrong to do that. I never called Miss Michelle Brown nowhere to, to talk about no parts of her body. Yes, I have sunk to her level because I took offense at the way she she presented herself during this Madison, T. S. Madison and Kaya episode, where. She went on with all of this homophobic and transphobic language of hers. I took offense to of that. I am part of the LGP, LGBTQI, I believe are the current letters, communities, basic, basically sexual minorities. We're one community. There's so few of us that we have to band together to be one community because we have a, common, a commonality. That being uh, discrimination by others. Anyway, I took offense to that. I took offense to that. She always tried to turn every conversation into women against trans women. I don't like people. I don't like bullies. I don't like people picking on people because they feel like they can. If, if uh, LGBTQ stands for only 10% of the population, then then trans is... is, 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 is I'll be surprised if even 1%. So she goes after those, those groups. And it's only to drive her numbers, to drive hatred between people. She does the Trump thing, you know, make them all hate each other, fight each other, and I get to uh, get views from it. That kind of that kind of mentality. So you are wrong, uh, Michelle, the alien brown. And I don't remember calling you particularly fat. I think you made a comment about T.S. Madison having fat hands fat man hands and I suggested that your hand didn't look any different than hers so if she has a fat man hand then you have a fat man hand as well 
I certainly didn't call you any kind of bitches and hoes and all that kind of things, which I was, which was tempting because you put me in the mind of Kim Burrell. See, with most women, I have a natural respect. I, I like people. I mean, I like, I try to speak on what I feel is right and what is wrong. It doesn't make a difference if you're a woman, if you're a minority, you're black. I mean, I'm part of so many different minorities. And even the minorities I'm not a part of, the, the Latin people. I try to speak on what's right and what's wrong, right? That's, that's why I went after you. Oh, shit, I lost my train of thought now. Yeah, so the hand thing. It was for you, it's always, you made reference to her being a, a man hands, man whore, man this, man that. And you threw yourself into their, into their beef for clicks and subs. But you used you used the always use the angle of this person being a man like she doesn't she's, like she's not aware of that like we all T S Madison has never tried to hide the fact that she's a trans woman but you always wanted to emphasize that and I took offense at that I took offense at the way you went after Funky Daniva after you had won your lawsuit I think you should have left it alone but no not you so whatever disparaging remarks I made that was not those were not remarks made to women in general. Big women, small women, no women. It was you. You are the one I have a problem with. You and your attitudes and the lengths you will go to get clicks. That's what I had a problem with. I, I assume you 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 take offense because you said I, I called you names or something. I called you Gary Coleman. Now I'm not the first one to call you Gary Coleman, and I've looked at the, at the pictures of, of you and him. Now you can take this in where you want to. But you and Derek Coleman look like you could be twins. If you were to shape all your hair off, if, assuming you have some, I don't know. But at least take the braids out and, and the, all the extensions and the wigs and all this kind of stuff. You took all that off and took all the makeup off. You would look just like Gary Coleman. If Gary Coleman put a wig on, some lipstick, he would look just like you. You look alike. Now, if you consider that an uh, insult or not. What about a, a twins that, that one's male, one female? They look alike. So is 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 that an insult to the woman because she looks like her brother, or insult to the brother because he looks like her sister? You know, you got two parents. You got to look like one or the other of them. Are you insulted because you look more like your father than your mother? You've added all that. You've probably been called Gary Coleman your entire life. But don't think I'm up here just uh, just bashing women. I don't. From the top of my head, I can only think of you and and that that, that woman. That uh the hell is that bitch's name? Hmm. That Kim Burrell. I don't have respect for you as people. That's why I don't mind talking shit about you. It's only about you. And it's because of the things that you've said. You understand that, Michelle the Alien Brown? Now I know that you have no reason to go on my my comments. First of all, I'm amazed that you even look at my, my videos. But since you do, you know to come in my comments and say make that statement would bring me on here and you have somebody to beef with. See, so you're, you're a crafty woman. A crafty woman. But cautious. Because it be cautious. Because if you're complaining about people talking about you, you're going to have to stop talking about them. Why are you throwing them poking the bear? Is it, it are, are your finances that tore up where you have to just poke anything you can poke? I don't want to get uh, get back into it with you anymore, the alien. I'm sure if I watched any of your videos, which I don't, I would find something that to hate you for because of your personality. There's a flaw in your character. There's a flaw in your character and especially dealing with people who are trans and it offends me. It offends me, so I don't mind offending you. I believe people should be treated the way they treat other people. Right? Calling Kim Burrell, bitch, fat, funky, whatever. I don't feel anything in that. Now, I would feel horrible about that if to do it to a regular person or innocent person. But when you set yourself up to be the enemy, then that's what you are. You're another example of that, Michelle, the alien, Brown. Now, maybe you take offense at being the alien. Well, who named you the alien? Enough said.